Okay, let's queue up for round two. Disappointing loss last time, but I mean, that's how it happens, right? I can't think of a loss that isn't that disappointing. So we found the game against Vicariousness. Vicariousness? He has none of the legend or the Soulbind cards. It, I haven't talked about this because I haven't seen one yet. But if your opponent has Soulbind cards like uh, Spore, what's that guy's name? Tuscan Spore Lord or Duskfall or something like that, you can go to the game log and it'll tell you which cards are triggering Soulbind in the game log. You also see that his deck has more than 25 cards in it when it loads in. Uh, my opponent doesn't have any Soulbind cards, so it's not that big a deal here. Um, my hand's not that great. I'm gonna play the Scavenger Scorpion to block that uh, Cavern Serpent, because it lives, unlike Graveborn Glutton. And then play the Brood Horror, because I, I don't want to pump the Scavenger Scorpion, I would rather pump cards that are good. Like the Shardblade Belt Towers, or the Necromiba. Actually, I have a lot of good cards in my hand, I'm not sure what to play. He's going to aggressively take out my 6-6 six, six to save a 4-4. Four, four. That's not very good. Everflame Aura, with the card he just played, scales horribly. I, it does 7 damage at rank 1, and then 8 damage at rank 2, and then 9 damage at rank 3. That's really bad scaling. Uh, the mobility does scale, but that's like not a huge deal. Uh, I think the play is to play Necromiba in front of the Cavern Serpent, make it a 5-8 let combat happen so my brute horror kills this creature and then play a delver in the offline or in the side lane even though the delver doesn't get the pump like i can't make brute horror a 3-3 with the delver pump because is delver better than spring dread yeah i think delver is a little better than spring dread because spring dread requires me to play multiple creatures per turn to match the delver so play necromiba let combat happen, and play Shark Play Delver. If the Oozling went into the side lane, I probably would have just replaced it. So I've got a hand full of Roaming War Claws. Okay, so I didn't actually kill my creatures. So we're going to play a Roaming War Claw here. Attack. I could play Zombie Titan to level it, or I could play Rolling War Claw. Um, with the number of. I'd rather play the Rolling War Claw. Yeah. And I'd rather have a, a Raptor than a Newsling. Actually, for no reason. I think just the Raptor's a little cuter. Plus, I'll, I'll get more Newslings. I can't get any more Raptors. The Volcanic Giant block? Doesn't even kill my creature. <laughs> Where would a very good card? Uh, I think what I want to do is play Deep Branch Prowler in the side lane and give it regen 2. I'm going to let combat happen to kill his Patriarch. That was a really good oozling placement. Good job, Necromiba. And then play Deep Branch Prowler and then Infernal Lizage. Makes it a 9-9 with regen 1, and makes my necro move a 7-10. Or 7-9, maybe. Yeah, 7-10. So we're looking pretty good going into rank 2. Cavern Serpents are annoying. He has a lot of, like, damage with his Cavern Serpents, Volcano Giant, Everflame Aura kind of thing. <clears throat> so let combat happen. My component just conceded. <laughs> okay, I don't. I mean, he's definitely not doing well. But if he, if I get level screwed and he gets like a lot of rank two creatures, he could take this game back. But I guess he just didn't want to play, which is fair. I was winning that like on the board right there. But I mean, well, whatever. Free wins are free wins, right? I think I was doing pretty well that game. But I mean, I thought I was doing pretty well the other game too. I ended up losing that one. You can't really just tap out and give him a soul forge unless you're actually dead. Because your opponent can always just get level screwed. Eh, whatever. 1-1. One, one.